Your question is find the coordinate of the point on the curve y is equal to root x square minus 10x plus 26 where the gradient is 0. Now understand this. So they have told us we have to find out the points of gradient where it will become 0. That means what we have to do just we have to go for this differentiation gradient is dy by dx so now so this we can rewrite it as like this y is equal to x square minus 10x plus 26 and the power is 1 by 2 1 by 2 is the power so now so here if you see this is 26, 26 that means 13 into 2 is 15, uh, 13 into 2 is 26 and 13 minus 2 is 11. So we can't be able to go for middle term also. So therefore just we will differentiate this. How? By a chain rule. So that means first we will take this this is your a and the bracket and the power is your b that we have to differentiate and in a also if you see there are three terms so we will go for a scalar multiple so now how it will be it will be just like this and if you differentiate it what we will get d a by dx into d by dx of b. So like that we have to do it. So now, so here it will be dy by dx is equal to now here we, we have to go for a. So that means we will keep one bracket, big bracket and here we will go for so what is scalar multiple that is your d by dx of x square minus 10 d by dx of x plus 26 d by dx of x to the power of 0. So we have done the scalar multiple. So this a is over. Now we have to go for differentiation of b. So B, just we have done this, that means we have to go for the power. So here it will come as into D by DX of X square minus 10X plus 26 and the power is 1 by 2. So here we will not differentiate this. Why means we have already done here. Now, so if you differentiate here this by a power rule here n is 2 so therefore we will get here 2x and the power is 2 minus 1 that is 1 that's why we have written 2x minus and the differentiation of x is 1 so therefore you will get minus 10 and here it will be 0 so we will not write this so thus keep in one bracket another just write this here go for your power function take this as a one piece so here n is 1 by 2 so here we will take into 1 by 2 then this we will write it x square minus 10x plus 26 and now comes to your power so power is n, n minus 1, that means 1 by 2 minus 1. If you solve this, you will get what? Minus 1 by 2. Take the LCM and solve it. Here you will get what? Minus 1 by 2. Now, now if you see this, so here 2 is common. Just we will take it out. So here 2 will come here and this 2 will be down. 
and the remaining is x minus 5. And this is negative. So that means it will come down. So therefore it will be root over and now 1 by 2 it will come down as positive. So 1 that is root over. So here comes x square minus 10x plus 26. Now this value, this is the gradient. Gradient they have given you 0. So here we will put 0. Now 2 and 2 will go out. If you cross multiply this, this denominator get vanished. 0. So now you will get x minus 5 is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 5. They have given that, that is the point, point. That means it contains x and y axis coordinates. So here x is 5, what is your y? Now we will substitute this value to where here. So therefore we will get y is equal to root over, now solve this, x square. So x square that means 5 square is 25. Minus, this is your 10 into 10x. 10 into 5 is 50. Plus 26. So if you, this, this is 25 plus 26 is 51. 51 minus 50 is 1. So here you will get root over 1. Now, so now what is your y? y is equal to, we can say it's 1. So therefore the coordinates are what? Coordinates is equal to, we can say is 5 comma 1. So like this we have to do it.